You ask me why. I ask you why not. Is it against the law to talk about experiences that have changed your life? Or to name real people for that matter? You and I can end up sharing an experience. And I'm in love. I can obviously recollect it in any form for that matter. Because, because you see, that experience becomes my property. I can write about it. I love her like crazy. Crazy. At one point of time, of course. And I think if anyone has a right to talk about it, it's, it's just me. Was I hurt to that extent? Wouldn't you? Nah, it looks quite in class or I just just move down there. Can you share with me the class of the class of the class of the class Tonight, I can write the saddest lines. Pablo Neruda, Jerome Rekha, or Rekha? This is exactly why I want to break up. Can I mean, Pablo Neruda, recite this last year, it has been an exciting one. And, and definitely, our college experience has been it's, it's just not real. What's not real, Nisha? What is it that's not real? You know it for a fact that I haven't changed since the time we have been seeing each other. You haven't. It's me. And I mean, Jani, it's a good cliche. And I mean, But trust me, I don't have a choice. I just can't see myself settling down with a man in this city with someone who wants to write novels for the rest of his life. You see, life can be very frustrating at times. Life is a disease, sexually transmitted and fatal. Now, when this disease gets to you, the only way of recovering is by writing it down. I'm just saying that maybe I have a different kind of lifestyle in mind for myself. What is the lifestyle that you have in your mind? Well, no hit. For starters, it's in Mumbai. And to the journey, if I have to make a career out of journalism, that's not happening here in Calcutta. Will you will you come with me to Mumbai? If I have to take up writing as a career, it's not happening outside Paris. You know what? Only if you had a control over this arrogance of yours and this immense self obsession, maybe just just maybe things could have worked out. And I guess that is also a reason why we are breaking up. Nisha, when your dad used to rape you before he died. And when your mom was a paramedic and you were just a wreck, it was this arrogant man who said, right? We were never going back to the past. This arrogant story. man who didn't give food. That was a deal, right? Give a fuck about the deal. Give a fuck about the deal. You're breaking your end of the bargain. What do you expect me to say? I never knew you had turned into such a scoundrel. And even you used me by taking me out of that mess. You know the funny thing? I could have. But I didn't. I 
I am cared for. Given a fuck, as you'd put in very, very crude language. So you ensured that uh, young girl who was becoming a prominent face on national television was humiliated so badly that she has lost her mental competence completely. She is reluctant to face the world. She has shut herself completely from the outside world. <laughs> and you are telling me that you actually care about I did. I did. I never said that I do. You want to know what she said before she left me? She said, Rohit, I'll see where you land up with this writing thing of yours. Ten years down the line, I'll compare where you are and where I will be. And ironic isn't it that it just took me one fifth of that time to be the best selling author that I am and for her to be the mess, the wreck that I once saved her from becoming. A best selling author at the cost of a person. Hmm? I dealt with it. It was an experience that I went through and I chose to write about it. It was an autobiography of sorts and you can't hold me liable for recounting something that I've lived, right? So you don't feel any guilt at the thought of what you have done? If I had, I wouldn't have written it. And as far as I'm concerned, this interview is over, Mr. Bobek. You have enough material that you need to publish. I have said all that I have to. Unless you're waiting for an autographed copy of what she said.